going on people moto steve here out for another cruise on stacy beautiful night first actually hot weather windsor ontario have got this year we are basically looking at 95 degrees humid and i have two older ladies that are walking across the street and i will give them the right away because it's the law and let's have some fun. I got a wave. Good enough for me. How you doing tonight, people? It's absolutely awesome on the bike. I'm out doing a little moto vlog. I haven't done one in a while, so I figured I'd do one. There's a beautiful fountain. If you've never seen a fountain before, there's one of them. Shoots out water from the from the river into the sky got the wave there thank you very much mister so just out doing a little moto vlogging and I decided to pick a topic because that's what you do when you ride your motorcycle and uh, you do that yes so anyways this is my topic should I invest a lot of money in equipment to start a YouTube channel my answer to you is if you're going to become a vlogger and you have the money at your means, get good equipment. But if you don't and you're going to put yourself in the hole thinking that your channel is going to take off, don't do it. Afford the equipment that you can afford and try it. A lot of people start up a channel and they get only so many views per video and they give up. And that happens. A lot. They think they're going to be YouTube famous. They think, oh my god, I'm hilarious. Everyone's going to love me. And nothing. Me, I do it because I love it. I love talking. I am a talker. If you guys know me in person, I love to talk and I will sit here on my motorcycle and ride and talk till the sun goes down. But yeah, if you can't afford good equipment, like the best equipment, like, you know, we're talking thousand dollar cameras and stuff like that, don't do it. Don't invest because right now YouTube is in a whack and don't know if it'll ever get out of there and don't know if things will change we just have to go with the flow and uh, if you're in it for the long haul then you're in it to make vlogs and have a good time and that's what I'm doing look at this bike like just look at it it's dead sexy I tell you I love my bike couple of ladies so yeah guys guys and girls listen if you can't afford good equipment, and I mean the best top of the line equipment, get what you can afford to YouTube. Because chances are, unless you have some super duper niche that's going to take off, and you might, who knows? Um, I'm telling you right now, do not go in the hole thinking you're going to make thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. There are people that do it, and they're lucky, and I give props to them, man. They they rock. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. But they rock it out. They, you know, they made the money. I mean, if you really wanted to make some serious YouTube money, you would have got in, into it in 2011. Those guys that have been on YouTube now for six, you know, five, six years, they got it going on. Um, I keep saying, um, I gotta stop that. I'm gonna cut that right out. But anyways, yes, there are people out there that have been in the game for a while. And some of them, you know, have, have done really well for themselves. And some of them do it because they love to do it. And some have made some money and they've invested their money into getting better equipment. And that would be my advice to you. 
if your channel takes off and you start making some money, then invest that money back into your channel and start doing bigger and better things. Anyways, Steve, uh, anyways, anyways, Steve, anyways, this is Moto Steve. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are out on your motorcycles having a great time. I'm Moto Steve. Subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. It lets you know when videos come out. Hit the like button if you like this. Leave a comment. It's all up to you. Thanks for coming out, guys. I'm Moto Steve, and I'm out.